Hello everyone and welcome to your guide to popular builds in Heroes of the Storm. My name is Saren Death and today we will be checking out Li Ming's teleport build. But before we get into any of that, a quick disclaimer. These guides are not written in stone. They are here to point you in the right direction, but ultimately they are a tool to help you learn the hero on your own. Now we've gotten through that, let's take a look at Li Ming. Li Ming is a ranged assassin from the Diablo universe. When she isn't disintegrating demons in Sanctuary, she is disintegrating heroes in the Nexus. She has a very strong kit that allows her to dish out insane amounts of burst damage, and in the blink of an eye, can reshape a team fight. Before we get into her talent build, let's take a quick look at her skills. Her trait is called Critical Mass. This is a passive with no internal cooldown that resets all, yes, all of your abilities cooldowns after a takedown. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. Yes, all of your cooldowns. This includes heroics. This trait allows Li Ming to completely devastate the enemy team once the resets start rolling in. Her Q is called Magic Missiles. This is a 3 second cooldown skill shot that fires 3 magic missiles towards an area, or, you know, the darkness. Each of the magic missiles has their own travel path, and they try to converge at where their cursor was located. Each missile will deal heavy damage to the first enemy they come into contact with, however, the missiles deal 50% less damage to structures. This ability gives Li Ming very long range, low cooldown, high damage poke. Her W is called Arcane Orb. This is a 10 second cooldown skill shot that fires an orb that gains power as it travels. The orb will deal heavy damage to the first enemy that it hits. The further that it travels, the more damage it does. If you get a max range Arcane Orb, you will deal massive damage to the first enemy hit. Just a note about this ability. It does explode and deal damage in an area, which is about the size of the orb. This ability is on a bit of a longer cooldown than magic missiles, so unless you know that your team isn't going to engage, hold this ability in reserve so you can get some heavy burst damage at the start of a fight. Li Ming's E is called Teleport. This is a 5 second cooldown, short range, Teleport. The range on this is very short, and while it can save you from some terrible situations, do not treat this like Bolt of the Storm. Its untalented range is much shorter, so you will still need to play safe in lane and position properly in teamfights. Now that we've covered her base abilities, let's take a quick look at her heroics. Her first heroic is called Disintegrate. This is a 20 second cooldown channeled skill shot that fires off a constant beam dealing massive damage over 2.5 seconds to anything caught inside the beam. You can reposition the beam with the mouse cursor to catch escaping enemies and ensure they are turned to ash. This is a very powerful heroic that does brutal damage to enemies in a line. However, it does force you to be stationary, so make sure you have good positioning before you use it. Her second heroic is called Wave of Force. This is a 20 second cooldown AoE skill shot that tosses enemies away from an area, dealing heavy damage to them. This is a very strong heroic that provides solid burst damage as well as some disruption. Just be sure you don't save enemies by knocking them out of your allies CC. Now that we've covered her basic abilities, let's jump into the talents. At level 1, you have a few choices to make. The choices really come down to personal preference and how good you are at controlling your mana. Your first choice is going to be Astral Presence. This talent increases your mana regeneration by 100% when you are below 25% mana. This is a great talent that makes sure you always have at least a little bit of fuel left in the tank. Your next option is Power Hungry, which grants 100% more mana when you get a regen globe and increases your ability power by 10% for 20 seconds. The mana return on this talent is pretty good, but the real power comes from the boosted damage which lasts for a considerable amount of time. This is a very powerful passive on maps where you'll be doing a lot of laning or where you can dip in a lane and grab an orb, like Tomb of the Spider Queen, but not so good on maps where there will be a lot of long drawn out fights away from the lanes, like Battlefield of Eternity. For those of you who have zero mana problems on Li Ming and really love the mobility of Teleport, can go Aether Walker. As long as you haven't taken damage in the last 5 seconds, Teleport costs you no mana and its cooldown is decreased by 2 seconds. The amount of utility that this talent provides is immense. If you have solid positioning at the start of a fight, you can teleport around to get better positioning, allowing you to decimate the enemy team. 
This talent also complements later talents. At level 4, you're going to go with Dominance. What is better than having all of your abilities, cooldowns, reset on a takedown? How about having all of your abilities, cooldowns, resetting, and gaining 25% of your maximum health? This talent allows you to stick in the fight much longer and allows you to make much riskier plays as long as you can ensure a takedown. At level 7, you're going to go with Calamity. Now when you teleport, you will deal heavy damage to enemies at your destination. This talent provides you with another tool to destroy your enemies, but it also serves as a deterrent for enemies that are chasing you down. For Li Ming's Heroic, you're going to go with Disintegrate. Wave of Force does good damage and the knockback can be helpful, but when it comes to uncoordinated teams, it can cause a lot of problems. Disintegrate, on the other hand, does a large amount of damage and gains a lot of utility at level 20. At level 13, you're going to go with Illusionist. This is going to increase teleport's range by 50%, allowing you to reposition better, escape further, or teleport deeper into enemy lines for more burst damage. This would normally sound like a death sentence, however, if you take more than 15% of your maximum life at once, the talent will also instantly reset teleport's cooldown, which can allow you to jump back out of the fray or jump even deeper for more high risk, high reward play. At level 16, you have a choice to make. This choice is going to really depend on your team and your personal playstyle. If you like to teleport into enemy lines or the enemy is focusing you hard, you will likely be going diamond skin which gives you a shield equal to 20% of your maximum health for 4 seconds every time you teleport. If your team is more poke oriented and doesn't like to hard engage, or you just find yourself not the focus of the enemy's attacks, then you will be going Mirror Ball. This grants your magic missile's ability 2 more missiles, but it does increase the amount of cost of magic missiles by 5. This talent gives you more damage and more long range options. At level 20, you're going to give your Disintegrate some utility with Temporal Flux, which makes Disintegrate slow enemies by 40%. I've said it before, and I will say it again. Slows, stuns, and roots can win team fights, but even more so in channeled abilities that set the enemy up for even more burst damage from Li Ming. Li Ming's Teleport build is a high-risk, high-reward build that brings extremely high burst damage, insane team fight potential, Great poke, decent survivability with health on resets and diamond skin, okay wave clear pre-7, good to great wave clear post-7. However, she can run into mana problems, all of her damage does come from skill shots, she is heavily reliant on takedowns, and her low health pool means that getting caught out of position can mean her death. Alright, now that we've covered all of that, let's go over some quick tips for Li Ming. Keep in mind that Arcane Orb does damage to nearby enemies, so during the laning phase, you can help clear the wave and get some damage on the enemy with a well-placed Arcane Orb. It is important to remember that your teleport doesn't have a long range, so when you are in lane, make sure you don't overcommit to a kill and find yourself out of position. Also remember that your abilities are rather expensive mana-wise, so try not to waste all of your mana poking the enemy and find yourself out of mana for objectives. A Li Ming with no mana does zero damage. Disintegrate has a 20 second cooldown and gets reset on takedowns, so don't be afraid to use it to help quickly secure a boss, clear a massive wave in lane, or destroy a keep. If you pay attention to enemy death timers, their position on the map, and objectives, you will have Disintegrate back up before the next team fight. This one may seem like a no brainer, however it is extremely important for Li Ming. Your power comes from your massive, never ending burst damage as a result of takedowns so make sure you're focusing low health enemies to ensure you get those resets. If you went with Aether Walker and Diamond Skin, you can use Teleport before a team fight to get a nice little shield on yourself, or if you have great positioning and your team is peeling for you, you may be able to keep that shield up indefinitely. A very strong burst combo for Li Ming is to launch a max range Arcane Orb, followed immediately by a max range Magic Missiles, followed by Disintegrate. If you time it right, Disintegrate will hit just before the other two and result in some massive damage, especially post 20 with the slow. And last but certainly not least, Disintegrate's channel can be cancelled by pressing the R button again. Once you've secured a kill, remember that all of your cooldowns refreshed, so you can toggle that ability off, reposition, and then unleash another devastating burst combo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this guide helpful. 
If you have any variations or tips for this build, feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I will catch you all later.